leaving a super impression. Some Super Bowl advertisements score a touchdown with viewers, including one with a Montana twist. Happy Monday and thanks for being with us. If you were among the more than 100 million people who tuned in for the big game last night, you likely caught a glimpse of a few of your fellow Montanans. KRTV's Claire Anderson spent the day alongside the stars of one of the most talked about ads of the 2013 Super Bowl. She joins us live. Claire? Thanks, Katie and Tim. This year, several Montana ranches, farms, and families were featured in the Dodge Ram commercial called So God Made a Farmer. One of those families welcomed me into their home outside of Geraldine and talked about getting to show off the Montana way of life and one, on one of the biggest stages in the world. I knew it was going to be a Chrysler ad, and it didn't say Chrysler at first, but I seen a cow, and I thought, oh my gosh, this must be the start of it. For these Geraldine ranchers, being on TV during the Super Bowl was anything but what they ever expected. It went on with my image, and I thought, this, this, is, this is pretty pretty special. It'll, it'll never happen again in my lifetime. I, I still don't. I still don't believe it, I guess. <laughs> During the first week of January, photographer Kurt Marcus came out to their ranch near Geraldine to take some photos while they were working with their cattle. And I told him, I said, this is nothing romantic that we're doing today. It's just, it's just our normal work. And he said, that's fine. Go ahead, do what you do, and I will capture it for us. Fancy editing and a little Paul Harvey narration gave the ad that Hollywood glam, but the message of hard work and good old-fashioned American values still shine through. Uh, we're very proud of what we do. It, it, it's not that you're in it for the money. It's it's the job and what you've done all of your life, and um, it feels like you're accomplishing something that we're you know we're feeding the world basically the agriculture. So. The couple has been ranching together for more than 40 years and say this is simply their way of life. To get to show that off during the Super Bowl makes these two proud and they're honored to be a face for Montana for the rest of the world to see. This is the way we are every day out here and um, I'm just so happy to be able to represent agriculture in a positive way. It the excitement of being on national television is still very raw and they're still trying to let it all sink in. We've already watched it probably 20 times. So. <laughs> there was another family who was also part of this ad. They were in the Met Two Medicine River area and they can be seen saying grace at the dinner table. The photographers that took the family's photos as well as the Roberts photos are both from the Montana area and on YouTube right now there's already been over one and a half million hits. Katie, Tim, back to you. All right, thanks Claire. The debate over capital punishment has been rekindled at the Montana State Capitol. A bipartisan group of legislators introduced a bill to abolish the death penalty in Montana and replace it with life in prison without parole. We realize that the death penalty simply doesn't work and it's time for Montana to stop. Three inmates since the 1970s. Currently, two men. A Republican lawmaker is taking a stand. Banks. Montana has seen secretive money flood into its political campaigns. These dark money groups are political organizations that. Cook says groups like this <coughs> must operate with some accountability. I guess it's old school, but if you can't put your name on it, you probably shouldn't say it. Cook is carrying two bills which shed some.
produced by groups which have secretive donors must put disclaimers on their ads. This communication has been funded by anonymous sources. It is the responsibility of the voter to determine the veracity of the statement. Anonymous political groups to report how they're spent. Played against or how much spent. The two large in Montana. Does violate. Um, free speech, which is guaranteed by the First Amendment. American Tradition Partnership angered a group of conservative lawmakers after they attacked several Republicans for not conservative enough. Now ATP is facing a complaint to political practices, and Republicans appear to be divided on how to regulate these groups. At the Capitol, Marne Banks, MTN News. The head of Montana's public school system is asking the legislature to help her improve graduation rates. Superintendent of Public Instruction Denise Juno gave her State of the Education speech today to both houses. And she asked them to increase the dropout age to 18 and education a fun. And I know what we have to lose if we don't preserve and strengthen public education for generations to come. There is no better economic development tool than making sure our young people receive a quality education so they can secure a good job. Technology. been said, unless you know where you've been, you can't know where you're going. Montana has a history of raising with a backbone, leading back to the middle of the 19th century. Mary Fiel passed cigar brought up We are Americans. We're not African American, white, or anything else. We are America. In Great Falls, Simone D'Alba, MTN News. All right, great job, Simone. Well, it is indeed February, but feeling like spring across the Treasure State. So, Mike, does that wind have anything to do with our warm weather? It most certainly does. We are seeing the very warm temperatures out there because of a couple of reasons, but one being the wind. And look at it right now, 25 mile per hour winds at Great Falls International. We still are getting some winds up on the high line anywhere from 15 to 25 miles per hour. So it is breezy out there, but it's helping to keep temperatures up. 48 in Fort Benton right now. We're down to 44 in Great Falls. It is 